Hello everyone and welcome to Driven Mad. <clears throat> I'm a bit croaky. Yeah, I'm a bit excited. He's a bit excited, I'm a bit excited. I'm a little bit croaky, my voice, I do apologise. But we're going to collect our new car today. And this is the final drive in the B. And I'm just saying, I was just literally saying, because we've only just left our house. Yeah, I love this car. It's such an underrated, really nice, fast car. And I'm gutted that that sunroof has made me get rid of it. Yes, I mean, it's all really, it is all down to that sunroof. It's only down to the sunroof. This car, I, this car, I would have kept. There's no reason to get rid of it. It just no. does everything I need in a car. It even parks itself. So, um... I'm gutted to be getting rid of it, but excited to be getting something new, yeah. which I suppose is uh, an obvious thing. But um, we haven't got a lot of money for the car because I'm uh, an open person. The sunroof is fully disclosed as its issue, uh, but we've traded it at a dealership, so um, they're just going to dump it. Mean, they've already sold it on, so yeah. um, I think they just dump it into an auction. But um, everyone's fully aware that. Uh, the sunroof is knackered. We're just delighted the sun's shining, aren't we? We are. It's a lovely oh, we day. we have an umbrella up. Very true. So you can see outside, top, typical Portuguese weather. It's lovely and sunny. The bees are looking gorgeous as ever. And pathetically, I've uh, valeted it to go. As you would. As I do. Um, and I am just very sorry to see it go in a funny sort of way. Mm. Audi and Volkswagen. Oh, no. Oh, we're in. And classic Portugal. There's a queue. That is the last we will see of the B. It's ready to go. Lovely John Cooper works there though. 37 grand. It's not peanuts. All right, so we've been in here for, how long? We've been in, oh, 45 minutes now. 45 minutes, and apparently they haven't changed the tires or haven't, and haven't done the checks for the warranty that they needed. So we've got to wait in here. Dad's got his free coffee. Um, we're in BMW Mini Faro. We've now got to wait quite a while for them to do their checks, which they had three weeks to do, but they're doing it now. So buying experience hasn't been, they're too busy because it's summer, apparently. So not great so far but we will show you the car when it's finally ready. <laughs> right then everyone, you join us in a Mini. Yep. But it's not ours. It's not ours. They've got rid of us because yep. I think the tyres that they obviously couldn't be bothered to change and didn't order are illegal, so I think I can't leave in my car. Yeah. Um, so they've had to go and get some tyres to put them on and they're gonna be three hours, so they've dispatched us out in this car to uh, get rid of me. Yep. Because I'm a misery. So we're in this, well it's not even a courtesy car, it's actually the woman who works there's car. Yeah, because um, they don't have loan they cars. They don't have loan cars. So what dealer doesn't have loan cars? It's an insurance thing, I believe. Uh, yeah. But I'm sure they can insure them. Yeah, you can insure one car. They just don't you? bother to do it. Yeah. So we're in the saleswoman's car um, and we're going to go home for lunch um, because it's going to be another three hours. So, yeah. Yes, we will. I've said this a few times now, we'll catch you in the car ready. <laughs> Right, so here's the Mini. We're just heading off now. It's just half two. We're heading back to go and get our Mini, hopefully. This is the higher car, well, least car we got. Standard Mini. As you can see it's nice, five door. Very nice. Very nice drive, actually. Cooper, 1.5 petrol, apparently. But it's a nice car. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. So, here we are. It's nice and hot. Hop in, key, let's go. I like that. Start, stop, that's cool. And it's on. Temperature? Digital dash, 25 and a half degrees. Oh. Feels hotter than that. It does. Nice road gauge. Anyway, let's get to our car. Carbon black colour. Yeah, still got bits to come yeah. off. Inside. We thought it was blue. Yeah, needs a good old clean. Needs an R clean. It needs it? a serious clean. But mini electric Cooper S. Panoramic sunroof. We're now inside the mini. What do we think? Cool. It's nice, isn't it? That's great. Right, flick it on. Ooh, it's like stars. Star Wars. Oh, head up display. Oh let no charge. 
No chart, oh, <laughs> bastards. Right. I'm in gear. No handbrake. It's a bit bit loud. It is. So we're off. Handbrake off. Cool. Oh, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, that's so weird. And so yet so cool. See here we got our display. I like that around there, that's cool. Nicer got, than the brand new one. It is, we've got Apple CarPlay on, we've got our aircon, all our buttons. This model's got the heated seats and it's got the self-parking. Got the regen button there, so we can uh, fiddle with how strong the regenerative braking is. That's the bit that's taken a bit of getting used to. Um, I haven't touched the brakes yet. No, impressive. And other than that, it looks fairly much like all the other minis. Lovely digital dash, head up display, and Ooh, we've weird. got Take the. Off and it does stop. We got the sunroof, which is super cool. Yes. You can see in the back, we got the uh, leather seats, look super nice. Little badge, all that. Regen braking is strong. Yeah, the old Harman Carton. So it's a nicely specced one. It's um, I've spoiled myself with this one. It's, yeah. it, but it, it'll be interesting learning about electric cars it will. Um, although I've driven one I've never owned one until now was that all on regen uh, yeah never that's very brakes. strong it's got very strong regen well I wanted one that would have been <clears> a deal breaker for me I wanted one pedal driving and that is bringing it to a dead halt it is right then we're, What's not going on, is it? no we're back at the unit and the car has arrived we're going for our first bit of charging we haven't got a clue what we're doing, we're just wazzing it in. Yep, we're just going to plug it in. So, excuse the mess, mopping the floor. Right. Ow. On the knee. <laughs> right, so to open the port, I believe, it's just a push, pop open. Then you've got your fast charging port and your normal port. So just top one out. What? Mm. Insert your probe. Insert my length. Oh, 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 orange. Should go green. Hmm. Charging, it says. Charging. Is it? Oh, no, it is charging. Let's go yeah. look at the display. Right, what's display got? 15%, 19 kilometers. Look, they haven't even taken that off, look. I'm surprised you are. Why? Well, because you're a bit fussy like that. Well, I am, but I wouldn't if it was new, but it's mangy and dirty under it, so it's kind Okay, of... so they're saying that'll be fully charged at 5.10 tomorrow. <laughs> That's not quick then. No. Mind you, it, it takes what, doesn't it speed up? Might do. Well, there we are, under the hood. Not a lot to see. There's not, is there? Other that's, than that's all you'll ever have to touch. I won't even bother with that. <laughs> cool. Well. Interesting. It's a hefty old bit of kit, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Substantial car. It's not even warm. Well, that's a serious bit of bonnet. It is a serious bit of bonnet. Is it going down? I think it is. I just wanted to see what that looked like. Right, sorry everyone, I forgot to bring the camera as you do in the excitement of the Mini. As the first charge. The first charge, we figured it out. We're at a box, you can see behind us there. This is in Lidl, funnily enough, of all places. But Which is Lidl, about a minute from our house. Yeah, Lidl's got the most powerful chargers. Look in the window, look, you can see the beautiful Mini there. Had to sit at a funny angle because the charger's on the wrong side. For the, there, there was, was, there was, there was a man there. there. There was a man in the Fiat yeah, 500. 500. Nice yeah. Fiat 500. It's not, I'm interested to see how much it costs. Yeah. We will wait and see, but uh, we're going to sit here and probably talk more cars. Russ, look at the old percentage, is just shooting up. Right, well, you catch us the next day. We've yeah. uh, brought it back and valeted it. 
and uh, had a little sit. Not fully valid, did it? But no. it's had a little, it's a little wipe over because it wasn't particularly it clean. Actually, we did tell him not to wash it though. We did because we didn't want him to scratch it up as any if, more than it already if you've is. You've seen the Abarth videos, the dealerships. We're a bit nervous of them washing cars, aren't we? And these are just as crap. They are. So we're very, very happy with this car, though, aren't we? I mean, so far, so far. Um, we haven't gone far in it, but it's very fast. Yeah, and if any of you don't know, this is our first electric vehicle yep. ever. And it's the first we've owned, it we've is. driven a few, but this is the first we've owned and um, some people say I'm bonkers because it's got no range, but it yeah. suits my lifestyle and you have to choose something that suits your lifestyle. But let's see what happens. Let's see. I'm expecting the need to charge it a lot. Yes. And, and we're going to have a wall box fitted around here, here yeah. uh, somewhere. And um, we'll keep you posted. If there's anything anybody wants to know about it, we're, oh, yeah. we're newbies. Any videos, video ideas, pop them in the so comments. So we will give a range. We will show you the charging that we do. We are going to show it because... And um, more importantly, the speed. The speed. We're going to drag it against the bar. Yes. And oh, no, we've got a few little videos. We've got a few videos, but the quality of it is awesome. For, for me, who's coming from a car, very petrol head type chap. Well, a so non-EV lover. Yeah, a non-EV lover. It, 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 I've got to say. I do really like it so far. Yeah, so, so let's see if it grows on us. Yeah. We've got, I've got, uh, you're going away. So I, we're, the Abarth is still at the dealer. Yes. Um, so I'm, you're taking mum's car. Yeah. So I've got a show for her around because she's got a life I go nowhere other than come here. So I'm going to get a good week's worth of use coming up and um, nice. therefore I'll be able to give her um, I'm looking where the charging stations are oh, and things yeah, like yeah, that, so it'll explore. be interesting. Any video ideas, drop them down below. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the collection video. It didn't quite go as smoothly as planned, did it? But uh, <laughs> Life never does. Yeah. Car dealers and me just don't get on. No, they don't, It's do they? my fault. No, but uh, we've got it in the end, and we are so far very happy with it. So, okay, so uh, we'll leave you to it, and yeah. um, any, anything you want to know about it, please ask. Yes. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.